Hello guys, this is Luis. I am going to show you how to configure an SSL VPN on Sophos XG. This is our scenario. We got a client who needs access to this server and to this desktop PC. He is working from home, so he needs to use a VPN connection. We can use our Sophos XG as a VPN server. In this case, we are going to use the SSL VPN protocol. Pay attention on this. Our server is on the VLAN 10. And also this, our firewall is behind a router. By default, all the ports on our router are blocked. So we need to get a way to open the SSL VPN port on our router. So when we finish our lab, our client will access those resources successfully. Time to go to our Sophos XG. This is a XG135 model. And the version of our firmware is 20. First, we are going to go to system and then to administration. Now go to device access and on the one part check the SSL VPN service, the VPN portal service, the user portal service and apply. Nice. Nice. Now it's time to create a group. Go to configure and then to authentication. And then go to groups. Add a group. Complete these fields. Group name, for example, SSL VPN group. Group type, normal. Policies, unlimited internet access. Access time, allowed all the time. Network traffic, none. Traffic shaping, none. Then we can save this. Nice. Sorry if my pronunciation is not so good, but I am not get used to speaking English. But let's continue. Go to users and then click on add user. Let's complete these fields. Username, for example, Luis. Name, Luis. User type, user. Set a password. Now set a uh, email. You can you can embed that group. Select SSL VPN group and then save the configuration. Nice. Now it's time to configure our VPN server. So. We need to go to Remote Access VPN. Now go to SSL VPN because this is the protocol that we are going to use. Go to SSL VPN Global Settings. The configuration seems okay, but I will change it a little. I will change the port 10443. The next field is important, assign IP before addresses. When a client uses the VPN connection, our Sophos XG will give him an IP from this network. You can customize this address 
but I will live in this wave. If you have an internal DNS server, you put the IP of that server in this field. I don't have anyone, but let's assume that we have one. And you can configure another IP before. If you have a domain name, write your domain. Then apply the configuration. OK. Now it's time to configure our VPN. So let's click on Add and click on Configure manually. Write a name for your connection. For example, SSL VPN Home. Policy members select SSL VPN Group. Apply. In the next option in Tunnel Access, I recommend you to use the default option in Off because in this way, our clients, when they want to navigate to internet, the traffic won't pass to our Sophos XG. Okay, let's go back to our topology. Our client needs access to the LAN part and the VLAN 10 part. So let's add these subnets, subnets on this field. Click on Add New Item, Add, Network, and write a name. For example, LAN, Subnet. On Type, select Network, and write the address. And then Save. Now let's add our VLAN 10, add new item, add network, name VLAN 10, servers, type network, and write the address. Then click on save. Then go on apply. OK. Now go back to our topology and let's focus on our router. I said before that all ports on our router are blocked by default. This is for network security, but we want that our client to enter to this part. So we need to open the SSL VPN port. Remember that we configure our SSL VPN port on 10.443 TCP. So let's go to our router In this case, we need to go to Internet on Expert Mode and he, here we can configure uh, the port forwarding. Let's click on the plus button. On the LAN IP, we need to put the one port of our Sophos. So go back to XG and go to Network. and look for the one port. The IP of this port is this. Copy this IP and go to the router and paste this IP. Twenty one. Public port will be ten four four three and the LAN port will be 10443. Click on save. And then click on apply. Done. 
The last part is configure a firewall rule for our VPN connections. So let's click on add firewall rule, new firewall rule, and then uh, enter a rule name, for example, SSL VPN connections, rule position, top, rule group, none, action, accept, and check log firewall traffic source zones pick the vpn zone source any and destination zones select land and select land subnet and the vlan 10 apply services any and then save Good. Now we have configured our lab successfully. Our Sophos XG now can be used as a VPN server. Now it's time for our client to use the VPN connection. I forgot something. Let's go back to our Sophos XG and then go to administration and then device access. And on the LAN part, select VPN portal and on the VPN part, select ping and apply then go to admin and user settings and focus on this part vpn portal h TTPS port 443. So if we use our Sophos XG IP and put 443 in this way, we have now access to the VPN portal. Let's fill in with our username and password and login. From here, our users can download our SSL VPN configuration. They must click on download for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Save. Yes. Now we need to configure this file. Open this folder and open it with a text editor now go down and here to need to add a new line and write the next remote and here you are going to write your public ip for example, my public IP is this one. It's a dynamic IP, so I don't I'm not worried if you see if you see it because this will be this will change with the time. So, let's go back to our file, paste our our public IP, write the VPN port and write TCP client and now save the file because we are using SSL VPN protocol our VPN client can use a Sophos connect or open VPN client on this lab I am going to use the open VPN client so let's go back to our SSL VPN file, double click, OK, fill in the username, this is our public IP, connect, 
Now fill out our password. Okay. And yes, we have successfully done our lab. Now let's check if our user has the right access. Ping to the LAN part. Okay. Ping to the build and 10 part. All right. From now on, you can configure a SSL VPN on Sophos XG. I know that my English at this moment is not very good, so sorry, but I will try to improve with the time. If you liked the video, please give a like. My YouTube channel is about networking and there are a lot of videos, but they are on Spanish. However, I will start making some English videos. So if you could understand me, please uh, write a comment, please. So I will know that my videos are useful for you. Thank you very much for watching the video. Bye.